you doing, folks of America? This is the CEO and owner of the O'Neill Factor. www.oneillfactor.com. Reporting within the city of Olney, Illinois, at the intersection of East Street and Main Street. Well, we had previously did video coverage of and posted on YouTube. After the mayor of the city of Olney, Ray Bond, and the city council, law enforcement, and others have viewed our videos of the violation of the crosswalk and other motor vehicle crimes within the city of Olney, here at this intersection, they had today placed the pedestrian signs they wasted the taxpayers' money to do. Because they think by placing these signs in the middle of the road will give notice to more vehicle drivers and they would stop. But that's not the case as we have proven last video there was this pedestrian sign in the middle of the road down at the intersection of Morgan Street and East Main Street in the last video that we have done and people drive motor vehicles to Stu violating the motor vehicle laws and state statutes of the state of Illinois and the city ordinance. And that is because the state's attorney David Hyde, Mayor Ray Bond, the city council, the Secretary of State Jesse White, all the state legislatures within the House and State Senate, along with a prior governor, which we have a new governor taking office soon, have allowed people to commit violation of crimes, not traffic law violations, but high crimes and misdemeanors, which include felonies in everyday life throughout the state of Illinois, especially within the city of Olney. And you ask why? No businesses will move to the city of only Illinois. And why we have such a poverty problem here within the city of only And why this community has turned to a wealthier community. People are poor. They had to go to Good Samaritan and other places to get food and help. And people are moving if they can leave in the state of Illinois to go to another state this is why yes we also recognize this is occurring throughout the country but do not make no excuses each and every person living in the communities have to say stop now it's time to grow up to obey the laws Right, go to school, college, get an education, learn the new technology, become more educated within the computer field, and you send a message out to Big Corp, a like Dell Computer Corporation, and other that people within the city of Olney or another community within the United States of America. Are well educated and ready to go to work and be employed. But until that happens, businesses are going to continually go down the drain. They're going to leave communities. And when you have poor infrastructure, as you do within the city of Olney, and they waste taxpayers' money on trying to fix infrastructure they don't have to fix. You have flooding problems and 
the mayor, Bond, said the less money they spent on spending down on Morgan and Boom and Fair Street wasn't meant to lubricate the flooding problem. So I ask you, the citizens of only, why are you wasting your taxpayers' money on fixing up the storm sewer down in that area if it was not meant to stop the flooding? That tells you about your elected officials. They don't got brains, no common sense. They don't know how to do things. They don't know how to sit down and plan, think, and go over all areas and get the best success outcome with the least money to fix problems and make their community better. Instead, they'd rather be jokes, sit at tables and seats, and cover up for each other, and not communicate with their citizens, badmouth their citizens, threaten their citizens, use the only police, law enforcement, illegally to remove people like me from council meetings that will and continue no matter how long keep coming back and like I say hound them and put it out as a point they're not doing their job and I will not tolerate that because when they do that they hurt themselves their community and everyone who was born here including the future as of now the city of only Illinois and Richmond County, Illinois, has no future. As long as people keep on electing people like them into office. The only thing the future has in place for the city of only and Richmond County, Illinois, is to go further in death. The infrastructure to break down further. More and more jobs leaving. More and more people getting onto the welfare system. Or would you say, poverty system. More and more people uh, complaining and using as excuses. Oh, I can't find a job. So I make mess to sell in order to stay alive. Oh, I'm not going to college to get education to better myself. The excuse. What's the sense of going to college when you get out you can't find a job? You know what that answer is? Move to a community that a business will employ you. At least you have that education throughout life. If you don't got the education, you're going to remain within hard, the hard labor classification of the poor the whole entire life the best way to advance your life is to improve it I know a lot of people not just here in the city of only County Richard State of Illinois would like to make lots of excuses Throughout the nation. Here comes the OPD vehicle right now. Parking on and across the crosswalk. We'll turn. Now he's coming here. He's gonna make a complaint because I'm videotaping. That's my right to do so. So what's the matter? You have no right to come down here and hound me. You have to stand here peacefully. Don't, don't do a record. Hey, you're on tape, officer, and I can do it. I, no, it isn't. No, it is not a crime. It's not a crime. Hey, uh, everyone in America, uh, the officers violate my right. You can see it's going on YouTube. O'Neill, listen. There are numerous people going in cases complaining about you recording them. That is 
why we got to No, I'm recording what's on the street. Dustin right away. People violating the law. That's what I'm doing recording. And I'm not recording them because they're not on there. And the thing is, officer, all right, then you tell America why you let my, Mr. Rathcliffe, the police let Mr. Rathcliffe, the state's attorney let Mr. Rathcliffe come to my house, stand in my house, throw up rocks in my house, videotape, hound me, and video record me, and publish all those slander, libel, defecation on the internet and YouTube. Why did you allow Jack Hauser to do it? Why hadn't they been arrested them? That is a crime. What I'm doing is not a crime. I'm peacefully standing on the sidewalk saying that, and people are just mad. 